the president tasked a small think tank to think about what we could do within the university to help the local community hospitals. And one of the things that um, we thought of, I'm a nurse and a paramedic, is the use of face shields and how crucial they are. And we know that there's a shortage of N95s nationally, but when you utilize a face shield, you're elongating the life of the mask that the healthcare provider is wearing. So we're pivoting here to being a production lab, really to almost being a mini factory, trying to produce these face shields in a timely manner and getting, the, getting all the printers up and running. This is a PLA, so it comes in on a spool, and this is spooled into the different machines that you see behind me. Once it's heated to 215 degrees Fahrenheit, it starts to go through the extruder and it extrudes the filament into the design that is programmed um, for the device. So what is 3D printed, this is the completed uh, face shield. What you'll see is 3D printed is the headband piece. And this design is to allow for um, individual healthcare workers that are wearing goggles or glasses to wear their glasses comfortably and not feel the need to take it off. Um, and this bottom piece is printed to ensure that there's a nice curve so that the healthcare worker's face is perfectly within it. Well, we're really dedicated to this idea of being part of a global group of maker spaces dedicated to helping people with, uh, with needs that aren't met by the commercial market, either because they can't afford it or because their, their needs are different. They've ordered a thousand. We've promised a hundred a day, and uh, our goal is to hit a thousand in ten days. As a paramedic and as a nurse, I can. I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that students are involved in the process. I'm thankful that our our president understands what it means to lead, to innovate, and to be a solution center. And it's it's been overwhelmingly uh, an optimistic experience during trying times.